Hi guys, good morning. So yesterday, Unique launched a whole new product line, um, which I am so excited for. Um, I've been excited since they announced it at convention um, when we were in Chicago. So today, I wanted to show you a couple of the new products that I got. Um, I was able to get mine early, but I don't have the eye palette today. Um, those were a little bit backordered because I got the number three, which I guess was the most popular. It was the purples. So that's on the way, and as soon as I get it, I will do a demo for you guys on that one. But today, I wanted to show you the concealer, the liquid foundation, um, our brow set, which is our brow liner and the gel, um, and then of course our new lipsticks, and this one is in the color Ritzy, and I actually love it. It is gorgeous. Alright, so I've been really, really excited about um, the concealer um, because, as you see, I have nothing on my face. I have my primer on, and you know, sometimes we just have the time of the month where our skin goes crazy. So you can see all these breakouts I've got going on. It's not really attractive, um, but we've got this great new concealer that is gonna really help um, hide all those imperfections, as well as our new Mineral Touch um, Foundation. It's a liquid that dries to a powder, so this has got great coverage, and with my oily skin, I really like this because it um, dries matte. So, unfortunately, on the first day <laughs> I got this, I broke it. Um, I know. I'm really bad. So I get mine from the top. Right now I'm saving it in a little plastic bag. But don't worry, yours won't do this. I'm just really rough and got very, very excited and was squeezing it way too hard. So don't mind me as I pop it out of the top, but it does come out of the bottom in a little tube. Um, you can do either the shade that you normally wear or if you like to highlight and contour with the concealer, go one to two shades lighter and then one to two shades darker. So I'm just going to go through, ooh, that one's a good one. Um, and yes, I am showing you my naked skin, I don't care, because I just love this product so much that I'm willing to show you what I look like without it. So I also take my little blending bud here and helps really get it on there. This color I have is the same color as my foundation. It's taffeta. Um, I do have a lighter and a darker coming, so that way I could do some highlighting and contouring. But um, just to give it a try for the first time, I wanted it to be um, the same as my skin tone, so that way. It really covers everything. And I'm gonna put a little on my eyes. But you can already see how well this is covering. And I just blend it, kind of, almost blend it all over everything. And I'm just gonna really push it in there. All right, so. I like to get my sponge wet, so I can dip it under the faucet and get it a little wet, or I will um, spritz a little of my rose water on here and get it kind of damp. Um, it just applies better, I think. So when you get this, you really want to shake it up nice and good. And it's a little dropper, so it's perfect application. And you can either do it on your face or um, on the back of your hand. I actually um, like just going ahead and Dripping it right. Because no one wants to waste any of this. So, and I'm just gonna, I like to press it in. So I take my sponge and I really just press in. my neck I'll just drip it on my hand get a little bit on there and I go upwards you don't want to drag your skin down it's gonna make it sag so go up blend into your ears make sure your ears are nice and covered 
Then I do a little bit more just to make sure I've got everything covered. You can already tell a huge difference between where my skin was bare and now that I have this amazing foundation on. Now, you can either um, leave it alone and not play anything else because it does dry to a powder, but I like full coverage, so I'm gonna let this dry for a minute and then I'm gonna um, use my pressed powder. But next we have our brow pencil, and this has a little spoolie on the end, so you're just gonna make sure that your hairs are where you want them. And then you're just gonna go through and just short little wisp. Just make sure that you've got all your hairs. Bring it down. Now that I seal it in with our Precision um, Brow Gel. The great thing about this is it's got little fibers in it that are going to fill in the spots that um, you might have that are a little bare. Um, and then this is gonna seal it all in place. So it's a little tiny brow pen, or little tiny brush. And I take the very end of it, which is gonna have most of the fibers, and I just fill those spots in first. And then I'll take it and I'll go flat. And I'll really, um, just shape the brow and seal it into place. You can already see what a huge difference that makes. So I'm gonna do this one real quick. Now of course everybody does their brows differently. I'm not saying you have to do it this way, but what works for you might not work for me, or what works for me might not work for you. So find the best way for you to do your brows. All right, so now that my foundation's dried a little bit, I'm gonna take um, my um, pressed powder, and I'm just gonna make sure I've got all the coverage that I want. So ritzy. It's a really pretty, um, really pretty pink. So I'm just gonna and they go on so easy. They're silky smooth. Moisturizing. I love them. That's my my ritzy. And then of course. You can never go anywhere without your 3D mascara. So I'm gonna put this on real quick. You've got your um, transparent gel that you always wanna do first. And I am the messiest mascara person. I get it all over my eyelids, I get it all over my, um, <laughs> my brow bone. I don't know what it is, but I'm just the messiest person. So I normally do my mascara first, so that way I can wipe up all of my um, mess before putting on my eye makeup. And then you've got your, um, your fibers. And these are amazing. They are fortified with our Uplift Eye Serum, which um, we use on our eyes to help with, to nourish our skin, reduce the look of fine lines. So it's great for your lashes. Uh, it's going to nourish those lashes. All right, so I've got one coat on and then I do my fibers. I let them sit for a minute and then I go and do the 
the lashes on the other side. I know we all have our makeup or our mascara faces that we make. Our <laughs> mouths are wide open. We make funny faces. Um, it's just what we girls do. All right, so if you ever feel like um, there's too much fibers on it, what I do is I just take it and I press it on the back of my hand to get them tight on there so they're not loose. And then that helps make sure that there's no clumps um, in your fibers and in your, in your mascara. And there are so many ways that you can apply this. Please find what works for you. Um, I use it mostly for volume. I do like some length, but I, um, have never been all about really, really long lashes. I really wanted full, um, like really full lashes. Um, so that's kind of what I go for. But if you like length, you would try more vertical to get really the ends of your lashes. All right, so now that this one's dry, I take my transplanting gel, and I'm just gonna go back through and really seal those fibers in, and then I sweep it. Along the bottom lashes. And of course, apply as many coats as you want to get the look of your lashes that you want. And of course, see, I told you, I am so messy. So I just take my little paper towel there. And I'll even just take my foundation brush. And that gets really right under where you need it. There we go, a super simple look. Um, so really quick, you can make it as quick as you want. I um, took a little bit longer just so I could show you everything. But these are our new products. You can get these along with the eye palette. Um, and a makeup bag in our Cloud9 collection. It's gonna save you a bundle, and it's a great way to get all these new products. You can choose your colors uh, for your lipstick, your foundations, your eye palette, and your brow to all match you. If you need help picking out colors, please don't hesitate to ask me. All right guys, have a great day.